All right, all right, all right, Libra. What a goddamn Bibra. It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpio Red Tarot. And I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, my dears, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October 2020. Show me the monthly energy. Thanks to you, you, and you for clicking this video. Shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you who has clicked like shared and subscribed to this video if there is anyone who would like to book a personal private reading with me scorpion red tarot the only thing you need to do is click the about tab or the description box on this video all right you can connect with me on instagram messenger to book a reading with me if you don't have instagram messenger so that we can communicate to set up your reading time preference only thing you need to do is email me at scorpion red to gmail.com i do video readings only and um if you don't have instagram to do the video chat um i prefer to use google hangouts the only thing that we need to exchange in order to connect with each other is our email and my email again is scorpionreds at gmail.com all right so again the forms of communication instagram messenger or you can email me on google hangouts excuse me i had a <laughs> my brain said Broop. okay listen Google Hangouts or just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com, all right? If anyone would like to send any type of love donations, any type of, you would like to donate a deck, the majority of the decks here, I want to say, I want to say every last one of these decks that's sitting here on this table, y'all have donated every last one of these through the Amazon wish list. So if you guys would like to send some love to the page, check out the Amazon wish list. Uh, we accept donations through Cash App, PayPal, whatever you want to do. Like, I appreciate all of the love and thank you to everybody that has been booking and sending support to Scorpion Reds. Uh, my page and just you know me just in general throughout this whole COVID shutdown and stuff like that you guys have been amazing to me and I thank God for each and every one of you guys so you know Libra I'll, as we always do we're going to go into a prayer we're going to give God thanks we're going to give him his glory because they don't know our story but he do all right so we're going to let him come on through in the name of Jesus Father God we come here today we bow our head and we throw our hands up Father God because we give it all to you we are so gracious and thankful for the way that you move in our life Father God we want to say thank you for another year it's our birthday season father god shout out to all my libras you already know what it be father god we coming through and we shaking up things and we taking over and we turning things out father god we did not come to play this year at all this year thought that it was going to play with us but we decided to play right back and to fight a little bit harder listen they don't know about us father god they don't know how you raised us they, listen when they say who raised you father ding father Father, listen, Father God, listen, he done showed us in order to get to something, it ain't never going to be easy. Anything that you really want is worth fighting for. And the hardest fight is within yourself, Father God. We've been fighting, 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 fighting for betterment within ourselves every day. And we pray, amen, Father God. We thank you for blessing us for the power to continue to keep learning new things about ourselves, to continue to keep reinventing, you know, ourselves, to continue to keep looking in that mirror at ourselves and say, you know what? I'm stepping out looking like perfection today. Every single day, man, we walking out the day looking like we just blessed and favored, Father God. We just thank you for just being blessed and highly flavored in your name, Jesus. We're going to continue to carry on this energy in the name of Jesus, Father God. We're going to show up and show out through the rest of 2020. Show me the money season because, Father God, 2020 ain't over. We don't care what happened, Father God. We, we just know what happened to us and the blessings that you put through in our life. When 2021 come, we ain't playing in 2021 neither, Father God. So continue to keep moving through our lives, Father God. We're going to keep our head up. We're going to show up and show out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, Libra. We ain't come to play today. We did not come to play. So listen, Libra. Listen to me, Tonita girl. Okay. We're gonna get into the tea. So I just did this spread. I just did me a practice spread of these decks on myself. And honey, when I'm trying to say God did a, a boom, hold on, hold on. Y'all remember back in the day on um <laughs> Diddy making the band when um Miss Lorianne Gibson had to come through and give a nigga a good boom cat, okay? A, a good boom cat. A girl, listen, Father God came through and gave us a new two step, okay? He came through and gave me a nasty boom cat, okay, for the rest of 20. <laughs> listen to me, so nice. Girl, listen, so we about to get a nasty boom cat for you, honey. A little one and two, a little through and through, honey. 
And we're going to find out what the T is. Because I'm trying to tell you, Father God gave me a self-check. He gave me a self-check. Okay, I'm going to put that back. He gave me a self-check. But then he also showed me where I am, why I made the decisions I made. And I'm thankful that I made the decision I made. And I'm, You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, he just gave me a brand new step. You know, because sometimes Father God will come through in these readings and he'll clarify what you did and let you know that the victory is yours so that you can have a little pep in your step, baby. A nasty switch, honey. So we about to come on through and we're going to find out what we got to do in here to have that mean walk, honey. And that nasty talk, a mean walk and a nasty talk. Oh, man. You hear me? Do you hear me? Let's find out what's going on with my Libras for October. 2020 show me the monty libra libra would it be bruh would it be shout out to all my libras in the chat thank y'all for coming through saying what's up to a player y'all already know how we do up in the libra readings we don't play up in here we have fun baby shout out to all my boo shout out to all my ogs up in here i see you boo i see ya. i see ya. i see ya yes ma'am say it with me miss um miss babies Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. We do like green eggs and ham, honey. We like something a little different this season, honey. Oh, no. We don't want that old bullshit, honey. Mm-mm. That shit don't even taste the same anymore. Uh-uh. I think we might like a little green eggs and ham this season. Give me something special. Give me something different. All them other motherfucker hoes scared to try, baby. Listen, you never know what you like unless you try it, honey. Okay. Because that man chased that dad, uh... Chase that man through that whole book on green eggs and ham. Try to convince him to try green eggs and ham all different ways and all different days. He said, no, 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 no. Once he tried that shit one time, he said, hold on, I think I might like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> on a Sunday, on a Monday, on a fun day, on a Hyundai. Okay, baby. On a Hyundai. Let me get it on top of the Hyundai, girl. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Yours. Yeah. I just seen a whole bunch of orange. I don't know. I feel like I might got some more. You know, and that you know, and that is the color of October. That's my October's festive energy. There. Hold on. Let's see. I might have to do y'all how I did my spread. Oh, I'm tripping. I am tripping. I was supposed to put that other color out there. I'm so sorry, God. Hold on. I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put them back. I'm going to go back. Okay. I'm tripped up because I'm like, why does my spread look naked? It looks so naked. Faceless ghosts and the haunted girl. Ghost people. Mm. It's a whole bunch of people that you do not want up in your energy that is trying to still float and trying to haunt your life right now, hunty. Girl. Friend. Girl. Mm-mm. Now, girl. Ooh. Y'all know what they playing in my ear. The case of the fake people. Goodbye. Goodbye. To all the fake people in my life. I never wanted you around me, so get on your way now. You better think twice before you let people in your life. Cause when you put down and no one is around you, you got the case of the fake people. Y'all remember that shit from TLC? I don't know. Listen, y'all might be a little bit too young for that. But y'all might not, y'all might not know, but you're gonna know now. Go and <laughs> go and look on YouTube. TLC. 
case of the fake people. She said goodbye, goodbye to all the fake people in my life. I never wanted you around me, so get on your way. You better think twice before you let people in your life, because when you get down and no one is around you, okay? Case of the fake people, hold on. On Tony Ten. Y'all said, hold on. I just turned 20, 24. Listen, y'all might have turned 24. Y'all might have been 34. Y'all might have been 44. Bitch, only thing I know is the number four means foundations insecurity. And y'all might be looking at yourself right now. And y'all said, hold on. I don't, I don't, I don't like I, 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 it's, it's people that you might have detached yourself that you're trying to move away from. That you're trying to grow from and they are that like these people might be still haunting you in your dreams you may be walking somewhere minding your business you can smell them like you might get chill bumps and you just be like is this person thinking about me like oh like why did this person just pop in my mind it's just like these people that you were trying to cut this cord from you know what i'm saying i just still like haunting you and i feel like it is blowing your ever loving lasting life now y'all this is my Alice in Wonderland Cardamancy deck and when I tell you that this deck get rickety raw y'all and we if listen we will use her and she will use she and she will use we today because we is going to find out what is going on come on now pop mm, you got the two of spades listen you said you ain't nothing but a raggedy ass deck of cards whoever this is listen these fake ass people all oh, this okay girl see look y'all are see libra you always do me honey you do me listen libra you said i'm grown as hell okay boom i am clarification i'm grown as hell i don't know who you talking to i don't know who you think you walking over who you thought you ran up on but bitch i will show you quicker than you have ever seen in your life i'm not the one to fuck a play with if you don't get the fuck from around me i will show you you are nothing to me nothing 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 bitch nothing nathan nathaniel nansford nothing say it with me y'all i know y'all done heard me say this 50 million times in my video let's say it again nothing nathan nathaniel nansford nothing nigga you ain't nothing not a goddamn single solitary thing bitch uno i'm out get the fuck on please Please, you are tired of arguing with people. You tired of disagreements. You might even be tired of um trying to make your point with people. Like these people are nothing to you. You might have made these people feel like they are nothing. They probably feel like they are nothing. That's probably <laughs> why they are still haunting your energy. Cause you carried them to high hell, baby, and they're down there sinking and sipping, girl. Let sinking and sipping, honey sinking and sipping have you ever seen someone that's so in a low place in their life they're just sitting on the couch sinking in the couch and sipping on some beer or whatever the hell just all to just look like they ain't even washed their ass all day they're just sitting there sinking in the couch and just sipping like you can smell the licking shit coming out they pores they just look pathetic like you pathetic fucking imbecile you bitch you guessed it listen i'm trying you ain't nothing but a pack of fucking cards bitch catch up now listen y'all done got me y'all done got y'all done got me y'all done already said case of the fake people <laughs> y'all throwing cards around listen y'all talk about people is haunting y'all energy i ain't even get to the center i ain't even get i ain't even get there goddamn libra listen y'all said it's my it's my party and i cry if i want to smack a bitch if i want to smoke a blunt if i want to okay libra Shit, pass the dolce on the left hand side. Hey, pass the dolce on the left. Listen, I'm sorry. Let me calm down. Listen, <laughs> more fire. Boom. Listen, take it one day at a time, Libra. Do not let these motherfuckers stress you. Do not let these motherfuckers stress you, bitch. Okay. Girl, take it one day at a time. Puff, puff, pass, girl. Listen, come on now, girl. Listen, who listen? Who just turned 40 this season? Y'all listen. Y'all listen. 40 is the new 20. Change clothes and go. Listen, we about to change these clothes. We about to go out. We about to have an exciting time. We don't have time to be dealing with these motherfuckers that ain't nothing to us. I'm not about to argue with you. And the number two, I listen, I have a choice. I have a choice, okay? 
All right? I'm going to sit where I'm at or entertain you and smack the shit out of you. So listen, I already done told you you nothing. Bitch beat it. Go somewhere. Go the fuck on somewhere. Listen to Eight of Swords. Listen, Libra, listen. It, ooh, Libra. <laughs> Libra, you might be struggling within your darkness right now, y'all. Y'all might be looking at yourself in the mirror trying to see it clear you like father god listen to me because you know i'm not trying to go in my darkness you see how she's looking at her reflection in the mirror and you see how she all tied up by them goddamn things and she can't see herself yeah exactly it's like i know if i let this person i have a choice right now to let someone put me in a place where i'm gonna seek down into my darkness because this is this like a crab in the barrel type of situation right now you was at the two of swords you are you at the place where you in your place of clarity right now someone may be trying to communicate with you and you're looking at yourself because you know if i let this person pull me out my back i'm gonna get trapped again in this low dark vibrational place where they're in well, I'm going to be throwing shit around, ready to smack bitches, fight motherfuckers, go to jail. Because, I, you know what I'm saying? And you may be looking at yourself in the mirror right now. It's like, I really want to cuss this motherfucker out. It's like, it's something in you that... You know whoever this person is. They trigger, they trigger and they bring a beast out of your motherfucking ass. Oh my God, do they, Libra. Do you understand? That's why I'm saying you are haunted by this person. I feel like sometimes... You look at yourself in the mirror. You're not even in that situation. You you are free. You see how free you are? You are free. And you may be looking at yourself in that old past existence. Because like I said, you are being haunted by your past. And sometimes you have to remind yourself, I don't have to react to this person. I do not have to respond to this person. Look, she's in a new home. Look at her new environment. She got her new carpet and shit. When she looks in that mirror, she sees the old person that she was. You understand? She left that shit trapped back in that dimension. That's not who she is no more. She's recognizing that she is free. And I'm not going to look at myself and ever see that person again because I do have the choice to control my energy because these people ain't really nothing to me but I have a choice to walk away or allow that person to trigger me to get trapped back into that state of darkness and every time that you get up and you look at yourself in the mirror you remind yourself of just how safe you are because I see that person even when you talk to this person this person triggers you and maybe before you speak, even when you're on the phone, you just may go in the bathroom while you're on the phone with this person and look at yourself in the mirror to see your facial reactions. How, like, you know what I'm saying? Is this person putting me in a negative dark space? Let me get the fuck off my phone because this person is nothing. You're nothing to put me there. I'm too beautiful to be there. Look, I am too beautiful to allow you to put me in the dark space ever again. When I look at myself, I look and I see beauty. I see warmth. I see comfort. I would never allow nobody to get in my motherfucking mind. Ever again. Hell no. Hell to the fuck ass. Goddamn no. And I see you sitting up there. Reflecting on those days. And reminding yourself. This person is nothing. I will never allow myself to get trapped in that fucking state of imprisonment ever again. I'm going to take it one day at a time. And I can choose which fights I want to pick on which day. A motherfucker's going to do what I say. Because sometimes I feel like a nut and sometimes I don't. Today I don't. I got better things to do. Bitch, you're bothered. Go somewhere and find a hobby and get the fuck out of my energy. Like, I'm so serious. Why am I, Libra, why y'all got me so goddamn mad right now? Like, y'all got me angry. Because I don't, I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't like seeing my Libras about to pop off on a nigga like this. Because y'all just like, y'all better get the fuck on somewhere. You and you, bitch. I don't know who this other person is, but they need to get on too. Listen, the Eight of Cups, listen, you, Libra done already emotionally walked off on y'all into the sunset i told you libra is in a new place this looks like a new place to me this isn't her home i mean this isn't the home that she used to know like this is her this is her safe little comfortable environment whoever this libra is or this is somebody that's dealing with a libra that is realizing wherever they were coming from was a place of them being bound and entrapment Mental. You know what I'm saying? It's 
just like okay so listen this 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 was like a cleansing ritual or something this woman she knows what this person does to her this person is like toxic whoever this person is situation is family member whatever this is that this person is walking from it's toxic it's something that tries to grab control of her mind where her heart can't make a decision you know what i'm saying because mentally her mind has control when her heart wants to let something go her heart told her throw every last goddamn cup every emotion that you have for this person away write their name on a piece of paper and burn it and set it off in the river and walk away and don't look back and that's what that person did. I mean, girl, when I'm trying to tell, she must have thought about that that um part from the Bible. If you turn around, you gonna turn into a pillar of salt. She said, I won't turn into no pillar of salt. I'm right. I'm walking right into the sunset, right into my correct masculine. The sun meets the moon, honey. Oh, she's listen. It's calling to her. The correct warmth, happiness, new birth, growth, enjoyment, fertility. Arrival. The morning. Arrival. She <laughs> Listen, I, I'm not even about to do this. What I'm trying to tell you, she said ashes to ashes to dust to dust. There's no emotion no more. There's no, like she knows what this is. She walking away and taking one day at a time. She released that energy and set that shit off to the universe. And she's arriving in her new destination. That's why I'm saying this new place, she's arrived there. And I don't know if she still has to, whoever this is, still has to talk with you, deal with you. I don't know if y'all are still in some type of negotiation. Someone's still trying to call you and argue. She's in her new safe place with all this white, pure, beautiful, new shit around her. Like, why the fuck would I sit there and let you get me trapped and caught up in that bullshit? Get the fuck on somewhere. What is this? This is the eight of hearts. So it says one will hardly suppose your eyes were as steady as ever. See, look again. So this person is like possibly shocked that your eyes is sharp this time. It's like, damn, she really did walk away. Like, yeah, I did. Listen, the eight of cups, the eight of cups. He's looking at you. Well, let me put it this way. because That's the way it was laid here. He's looking at you. One will hardly thought that your eyes was steadily as sharp as ever. Yeah, nigga, I see you. Like I said, you see the sun, her walking towards the sun. That's a rival. That is something being revealed to her. You don't love me. This shit toxic as fuck. All this arguing, fighting, jealousy, manipulation, cattiness, trying to one-up each other. All that shit, I don't got time for that shit. I'm grown. Like, I am, like, it's something about this reading where it's like the women in this reading are like, I'm 34, I'm 24, I'm 44, I'm 40, I'm grown. You understand what I'm saying? The eight of hearts is something that is mutual. Mutual feelings. Remember I said that she was walking towards her masculine, her true masculine? Like, she's arrived to a point where she's gravitating towards a new type of energy like you know you ever walk outside and you, you ever been in a cold or you ever just felt really cold like on the inside and then like you arrive in Florida somewhere like out on the beach and then you can actually take your clothes off have your little bikini on and let the sun kiss your skin and you just sitting and it just feel you just it's like all that chill come off you start to be happy like you know what i'm saying have you ever been cold and then it's like you're around warmth and you just feel happy you know this person is moving to a state where something is mutual i don't think whoever this person was thought that you would ever um allow your heart to take over your mind because at this point right now it's like, nah, I'm letting my heart be in control because my heart wants something that feels better. Even if I don't know where I'm going, I know I'm going something where wherever it is is better than here. It's going to be mutual. It's going to be something way more comfortable. Like, to me, this is like, the number eight represents, like, what goes out comes back in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when I go outside I want to go outside into 
a loving universe of something abundant and happy. When I come home, I want to walk into something abundant and happy. It's just like a complete cycle of just abundance and warmth in your universe. It's like, I want something that wants me. I want to wake up being happy. I don't want to wake up going in the bathroom, looking at myself in the mirror, feeling like an emotional wreck, feeling like I, I'm not strong enough to go to work that day, feeling like I can't even deal with my kids because I've been arguing with this person all night and I've been stressed out and I barely got any sense. I'm tired of that shit. I'm walking the fuck away and taking it one day at a time. Nigga, you could look at me. Watch me switch my ass into the sunset because that's the last time you ever going to see me, bitch. Get the fuck on somewhere. I'm so serious about it. I'm so the fuck done with that. I'm so done. Like, are y'all done? Are y'all done? Because I'm done. We're done. Girl, good night. What is this? The Sea Beacon Fairy. It says guidance, but where will it take you? So look, this is about your own creation, you guys. Life is what you created. It's like if you want to continue trusting this person and keep getting into arguments with this person, like look at yourself in the mirror. Like I'm trying to tell you when you're on the phone with this person, go and stand in front of the mirror. And when this person says something to you, watch your facial expressions and look at yourself. Do you feel happy? Why are you still on the phone? Why are you still talking to this person if they make you feel like this? If this is all y'all do, why? What, what is it that it's so hard for you to let go? It ain't nothing but string. And actually, if you look at it, those crows are trying to take the string from around you and try to remove that mask from around your face so you can see. Because at the end of the day, you're trying to act like... Things is, up, things is not okay. Take that mask off so you can see that person for who they really are. You understand what I'm saying? Look at yourself and how you feel when you're dealing with this person and ask yourself, are you really happy or is this toxic as fuck? You understand what I'm saying? The eight, th this is imprisonment and you're not in jail, so you're not in prison. You're not in prison. You can take it one day at a time. These, every last one of these crows are whispering something to you, telling you shit that you really don't want to hear about this person to get you to understand, to let go and let God move you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your life is what you created. You take it one step at a time. Take that name, write it on something, send it off in a river, let it burn. Do not turn around do not turn around do not turn around if you're going to follow your intuition and turn around what happens to you is what you decided to happen to you if you want to walk towards faith and hope and want betterment in your life then you keep taking that step one day at a time but if you want to walk towards, to, towards destruction like this sea beacon fairy said Guidance, but where will it lead you? You know? Look at yourself. Look at yourself. This over here, she realized that she's haunted by this shit. And she don't want nothing to do with it. She don't want nothing to do with it. She wants something comfortable, something harmonious, something generous to her. Let me explain to you exactly what the Eight of Hearts means just to give you some keywords the eight of hearts again means mutual feelings happiness comfort sharing with one another togetherness working together a couple emotional connection emotional balance remember warmth enjoyment relaxation protection protection this person ain't know how to do that that's why they have to watch you walk the fuck away like you ain't care about them didn't care about them. You talking to them like you don't care about them. You're being rude like you don't care about them. Like they're nothing because they're nothing. They're nothing. They're nothing. I'm taking my guidance and I'm walking towards the light. I'm not going backwards. Because if I go backwards, I'm going to get every fucking thing I deserve. Because I know what's back there. The devil. The devil. The two of spades. What's the keywords for the two of spades? Which I already told y'all what that means. That's like, that's damn near like physical fighting and shit like that. The two of spades, traditionally a card of conflict, disagreement, betrayal, argument, anger, resentment, holding a grudge, vindictiveness, violence. 
bad news, a removal, a separation, something sharp, pointed, teeth, ice. Remember I talked about ice, and then over here I talked about warmth. Choose wisely. Let's keep it moving. The three of swords in the reverse. You said, oh ma'am, don't even write me. Don't tell me no lies. Don't send me no roses. Don't send me no proposes. I don't want to hear a word you guys say. Because it's like, you see this person, they... This three of swords, you see the moon in the back. This person is lying. Lying. Trying to figure out what they want to say to make you feel better to smooth the situation. I, I don't want to hear that shit. I'm better off alone. This is the three of swords going to the four of swords. I recognize you for who you are. I can see these, I can see these lies. This propaganda falsehood and fallacies from a mile away baby don't even send me those letters don't even waste your energy on trying to make that shit up four swords i made my decision to remove myself from you for my own protection for my own security because you're toxic you're the devil and you make me angry and I don't like being angry and I don't have to be angry the only thing I don't have to do is be around you so don't send me shit I'm blocking you okay you need to move on with yourself and stop making up so many fucking lies before you trip on them you bitch I'm not going your direction she's going this way she's taking it one day at a time she or he listen this is the five of pentacles i'm removing myself from a state of black why am i going to keep moving towards somewhere where i'm rejected someone who's playing games with me someone who was lying to me someone who was lying to yourself nigga you lying to yourself sitting up there making up that shit why like you ain't even gonna re remember that shit we gonna get into an argument later on Okay, because you want to try to find up some more bullshit to try to trick me with the lie and try to get me entrapped into your fucking devilhood ass bullshit. I don't want a part of your fucking nasty ass brothel, bitch. You understand what I'm saying? You low vibrational nasty ass bitch. I swear to God, y'all got me going on here. Why y'all got me going on here? Because Libra said I ain't in no point of lack anymore. Actually, ever since I walked away from you, bitch, and I took it one day at a time. All right. And I let it burn, bitch. I'm good. I am comfortable. I told you. I see you for what you are, bitch. And you see me growing. I am protected from you. Only thing you can do is try to spy with your naked eye, bitch. That's it. Only thing you can do is try to haunt me with your energy, bitch. I will burn a bundle of sage on you and get you the fuck out of here. What, what, are, you, what are you not understanding? Baby. Baby boy. Baby girl. And my beast of my own voice. Listen. I have more comfort. More comfort than any shelter could ever give me. I'm not begging. I'm not borrowing. I got my own. I got my own vision. I learned so many lessons from this situation. I'm taking it one day at a time. Every step in faith and glory, bitch. Y'all don't know my story, bitch. Y'all don't know my destiny, bitch. I fear nothing. I fear nobody. Y'all are nothing. You're nothing. You're nothing. You're nothing. Go somewhere. Find God. Find peace with yourself. I would never allow a peasant like you to pull me the fuck out my bag. I have a choice to lower myself to even look at you, to even read a sentence. To utter a syllable to you, bitch. I will smack fire out you. Get the fuck from around me. Stop trying to contact me. All of that shit. All of that shit. Delete all of that. Listen, don't even send that shit to me. Delink all, delete all that shit, Pinky. Delete it. Delete. Don't send that shit to me, Mo. Oh, God, don't send that to me. You need to take it one day at a time, my brother. You understand? My sister. Sister, sister. Listen, never know how much I miss you. Because I don't, bitch. Okay? You would never know how much I miss you. Bitch, I don't. You need to take it one day at a time. Just like I did. 
and find peace and find God with yourself and find some shelter. Because, bitch, only thing you can do is watch me walk away. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. Hmm. Don't know how many times I'm going to say it. And I damn sure ain't going to replay it. Next. Next card. Let's see. Oh, baby, we got the, the Eight of Cups again. No. <laughs> Listen. You said, bitch, I'm out here. I'm out here catching the big fish. You see the sun behind her? She enjoyed her whole day. Listen, y'all, y'all know these are two different decks, y'all. Listen. She walked away from that situation. God gave her a boat. Hope floats. Hope floats. Hope promotes. Hope gropes new beginnings. Do it look like this person is in any type of lack? <laughs> Does she look like she listen, this is the five of pentacles in the upright. Five of pentacles in the up, I mean in, in the reverse is when money is coming in. You might have just got a new job. You might have just got a new home. You might have got a new car. You might have just made new connections, uh starting a business. Well, you fishing. You pulling in the big fish. It's like I didn't move away to like play around like you know what I'm saying I moved away because I knew the, the best has yet to come I'm not carrying that energy with me baby God gave me a whole new sense of who I am like that's why I moved away God told me the big fish is coming but I can't be I can't Prepare myself for the big fish if I'm still on land and I ain't got my emotions together and I ain't prepared to walk away from shit that wasn't deserving of me. Okay, say it with me. That was not deserving of me. We got bigger fish to fry, honey. You got the eight of cups twice. 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 Look, her hair done. She got, I'm trying to tell y'all, I don't know if y'all just got a brand new vehicle. That boat look nice, y'all. That don't look wet. That don't look real proper. It look real proper. Brand new fishing rod. Like, what? And then the smart thing about it is, like, a wise person, if you really know anything about fishing, you know you got to be up in the ass crack of dawn in the morning. As soon as the sun rises to catch the early fish. The biggest fish. So, it's something about... The lessons that you learned that prepared you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might not even need an alarm clock. Your emotions, like your 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 natural, your heart woke you up. Like, hold on, you gotta get up. You know what I'm saying? There's something about to rise. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be one of the first people out there on the you know, it's like, listen, three eights, man. Eight, eight, eight. Wow. And you got two threes. You got four eights. You got the eight of swords, the eight of cups, the eight of uh, the eight of cups, the eight of the eight of cups. Y'all, y'all are what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all are taking authority. Y'all are making motherfuckers respect you. And the most important thing right now, leave it with them eights, is as above, so below. You putting out what you want back in. You putting in you what you want to come out. From the universe. I gotta love myself, man. I can't. I can't do that. I can't. I can't play around with y'all like that. It's like when you recognize that you're being triggered by something that reminds you of your past. Like this could even be somebody that you only been fucking with for two months, but this person in a short amount of time, like y'all might have been arguing already, and this person reminds you of when you were in that entrapment. You're like, oh hell no, hell. To the fuck ass, no. And the thing about us going through everything that we've gone through, it's taught us to keep fishing. Like, there's something better out there. Like, I don't feel like you wasted your time at all, especially if this is something new. If this is something that has been between two and five months, you didn't waste your time at all, baby. Let's keep it moving, okay? Let's keep it line moving. The Violet Duchess. Stifled, bored, and stuck. Girl, but you look good, though. Look at your fabrics. You look good. You look good. I feel like you're just taking it one day at a time. I feel like you're 
home environment and your foundations is most definitely going up. Um, I feel like right now you may be fishing and looking for a new, a, a new job. Like something is going to bite. Something is going to bite. Just take it one day at a time. Keep moving forward. Because right now the only thing you are worried about is your safety, your protection and comfortability. And you just want the right things from the world to come to you. No more lies. No more confusion. No more drama. I'm not trying to take that energy to work. I'm not trying to be going to work like this. I can't even focus on my money. And I feel like that's why one of y'all got fired. Because of all of this drama like you couldn't focus like your energy was down you understand what i'm saying now i feel like your energy is down because i feel like things are going uphill for you um especially in regards to finances and career i just feel like in your love life you know um you feel like things are boring um oh hold on I did just get something. I feel like your clothes, where they might be pretty, it may be a little drab and it's more predictive of your mood. Lighten your colors up because are you paying attention to your outfit? Don't it look like a scary creature is down? Like, I don't know if you're wearing a whole bunch of shit with skulls or just black all the time or gray or dark purples or like, you know, like, I don't know. It's like... You are beautiful. I mean, I even like, I mean, I like her hair like this and everything like that. Smile more. Smile more. Seem like you're enjoying life. Stop wearing this shit with skulls, all this dark shit. It puts off someone that came from a dark space in their life. She's walking away pure. Pure. Don't wear... Pay attention to the energy that you're wearing on your clothes. You see this girl? She's looking in this mirror in brown because she's grounded. She knows where she came from. She's not in prison. She's remembering who she was in a past time. And she's grounded in that brown. And she said, they won't get me no more. I know what the devil looked like. You understand? Wear more beautiful oranges and browns. It's tis the season. You know what I'm saying? Oranges. Beautiful like candy corn yellows. And you know what I'm saying? Festive. Think about harvest season. Think about Thanksgiving. I know that's making you smile right now. Because y'all are thinking about food. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. I'm so serious about it. Take it one day at a time. Change your color. Get a new cut. A new color. Ooh, I'm seeing some of y'all in a beautiful ass fucking burnt orange fucking... What is it? An ombre? Like where the roots be um, black. But it's like a burnt orange like bob cut little banger ass bitch. Listen, if y'all don't go out there and slay and cut it out... Oh my God, y'all, cut it out. Let's clarify this. We got the death card in the reverse, bitch. I'm trying to tell you rebirth, but I'm trying to tell you a new cut, a new color. Girl, girl, girl. I'm Now I'm seeing the Grinch, there, okay, because I seen the green right there, and I'm thinking about um the Grinch that stole Christmas. Listen, I, I get it. I get it, but... Remember at the end of the story, like once the Grinch's heart started beating again, he was so giving to everybody. It's time for that transformation. I feel like somebody came and stole a few of your damn Christmas. A few of them. And you just moved on from so much because even look at her eyes. It's like, I know I can't go backwards. Look at her. It's like she, she might have wanted to. It might be something back there that... She's tried and she put a lot of energy in, but she can't. She can't. She know this person's going to do the same fucking shit over. This person can't stop lying. Can't stop being deceitful. Cheating. So it's like, yeah, I've moved on from a lot. I've come from a lot. It's just I'm just taking it one day step at a time. Sometimes I, I don't wake up happy all the time. 
colors colors I promise you if you wake up and you're not feeling 100 put the most beautiful fucking colors on I swear you don't realize how much color vibrations really do alter your mood take advantage of what you do have power over your energy is what you have power over you understand? And if you don't know, like, color vibration frequencies, look it up. Look it up. Shit. Like, even this rainbow chart uh, chakra thing that I got right here. I mean, it explains it to you. It's going to help you with this transformation. You ended something, and it took a lot of power from you. And it's being regenerated. And you are that phoenix. And you are soaring right now. And you are understanding a different picture right now. And if it's going to be a different picture, it's going to be a different color. So I feel like that's the last thing that you need to change. I feel like someone is wearing a lot of dark colors and shit like that. Baby, no. It's time to transform new birth. This is the eight of coins in the reverse. So this is the eight of coins in the reverse going into the nine of coins in the reverse. So the nine of coins in the reverse in the eight of coins, you could be in um, experiencing like a lack of employment or something right now. Like I said, I feel like someone may be fishing for because this is the eight of cups here. Next to the five of pentacles in the reverse. So you could be fishing for a new state of just like emotional happiness or something um but you may be I, they're saying like i feel like i don't know if you're protesting about unemployment benefits because y'all know that we're going through covid right now i don't know if for whatever state um because you look at this woman you see how she's protesting and you see the star above her and everything like that so i feel like Maybe, like, I feel like you guys are having, like, a big, uh, death in regards to your, um, work sector or something. I, I feel like, I don't know, are you, uh, um, not doing the same field of work anymore? Is that transforming, too? Are you putting your line out there towards something else? I feel like you want more of a mission-based type of... Um, cause it's so many missions going on right now. You got Black Lives Matters. You got, um, a lot of political stuff going on right now. Uh, what else you got going on? Um, you got all of the unemployment stuff going on. I mean, you got so many things going on where people need a voice. People need support. They need like an ally. They need an advocate. I think like during this transformation, you could have lost your job. You know what I'm saying? You could have, I, I, but you know what? You you're not lacking stability at all. Like you going forward. Like I mean, you are so grounded in moving forward. And I feel like even throughout this state of lack of financial security or not being able to have work, like you still might be out there promoting yourself. You might not just be doing the work that you are used to be used to doing, but through this transformation, like. I want to say like you found a new set of purpose and it's like you may not want to go back to your old job anymore because you may enjoy protesting for this cause or like maybe you are volunteering doing something and you may not be getting paid for it, but it's like you're emotionally uh, fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? Um, people may be saying to you like, why are you doing this? Because like with the nine of pentacles in the reverse, because the eight of pentacles is going into the nine of pentacles. This is the in between um, Tyro. So it's basically like people may be telling you like, you're not going to be financially successful in this. Like it doesn't pay well, or it's not going to like, you're cheating yourself in the long run. Why are you putting so much energy into this? But like, this is helping your transformation. You feel powerful. You feel abundant. Like these people understand they listen to me like I'm a star in my own right it's not about money you know what I'm saying it's about leadership it's about you know what I'm saying it's about something more than that and and like through your transformation maybe you have found this new group of camaraderie amongst people that understand your plight and understand what you're talking about and it's not about I don't think it's about money for you at all I don't think it's about money for you at all it's not about what other people deem as success for you. It's about what you deem success to you, not what they deem as success to 
to, to them for you. What is this? This is the star. Look, I told you. Didn't I tell you the goddamn star, bitch? Listen, you are following your intuition. Listen, didn't I tell you? Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Didn't you move away? Look at you, the star in the boat, moving towards the moon, towards your intuition. You're like, I don't care if this is making me money. Like, at the end of the day, I know what time to get up in the morning. Like, I know my market. I know what I'm saying. Like, I know what I'm doing. I am following my intuition. My intuition wake me up every morning at the crack of dawn. I go out there and I catch the big fish every motherfucking morning. Do you understand? I know where God is leading me. It ain't about money. It ain't even a, it, it ain't even about fame, but throughout what I'm doing, do you know how popular that I am? Do you know how many people love me? Do you know how much I love me? Do you even understand why God pulled me away from this? It's like, un, it, it's it, it's like right now you might be unearthing, you might be unearthing the lies. You may be unearthing secrets. You may be telling people the truth that people don't want to hear about their situation, about uh, political policies, about the government, about what's going on in unemployment, um, how people are fraud in the system and we got to fight in. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. Like, no, if, if they denied you for something, keep fighting. No, call them motherfuckers every day. Like, I had to do that. And I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you could, like, you could have been feeling like, nah, 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 nah talk, talk about politicians and shit. It's like, you could have been feeling like the politicians or whoever was talking to you on the phone in regards to your benefits or something. It's like, you could have been like, bitch, you ain't nothing but a goddamn phone operator. You don't know who the fuck you talking to. Bitch, let me speak to your manager. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not about to be trapped in this situation. I'm grounded. I got to look at myself. No, I'm going to call these motherfuckers every day. They going to run me my money, bitch. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, you know... Like, you could have went online, you could have been talking shit about all how fair, how unfair everything is. You could have ended up on the news. That shit could have made you a fucking star unbeknownst to you. That could have moved you forward. You know what I'm saying? You just followed your intuition and did something. Now you got a whole fucking new career path. You understand what I'm saying? Something that I don't even feel like, well, I feel like the tower is coming. Like, something that you didn't even see coming. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'm not backing down. I'm, I'm going forward. I'm continuing to put myself out there. I feel like throughout your fight, though, this Violet Duchess, it's like, I just feel like you have to put, um, you got so much fight in you. you you're so grounded. It's like, you, you I just, I just got to, like, I really just want love to come. Y'all deserve it so bad. Y'all deserve it so bad, man. Y'all are fighting so bad. Y'all really just want to be comfortable, bruh. It's like something in your personal life didn't work out. And it's like you throwing yourself into this fucking cause. But this shit, you know, you are the fucking star, bruh. It's like you know who you are. Baby, you are headed in the right direction. I promise you. I promise you. Continue to be led by your intuition. I promise you, Libra. Let me see. What is this? The Ace of Coins in the reverse. The Ace of Coins in the reverse. So, again, it's like things are having to slow down. Like, time is slowing for you. That's why that clock is right there. I feel like right now it's not the right time for you to go to work because I feel like you're progressing in whatever this cause is over here. I feel like that's why you're not working because... Even though you ain't making no money in this shit right now, the light is shining on you, my nigga. Do you understand what I'm saying? That light is shining on you, and you don't even see it. You ain't even going to see it coming, young. You just going to be like, how the fuck did I end up famous? God, why do I feel like I'm about to cry, y'all? Stop. Why do I feel like I'm about to cry, y'all? I'm not about to do that. It's just like, yo... You didn't stop talking. Like, you didn't stop telling people the truth. You didn't You didn't stop. And it, I feel like it's taken some time. Time leads to perfection. 
God time needs to perfection you. Yeah. Don't ever question what God is doing. Because that Ace of Pentacles is going to that Two of Pentacles in that reverse. The Two of Pentacles in reverse is because you just needed that Ace of Pentacles. That something, something couldn't go with you, baby. It was a lot of things that I feel like you needed more time to learn how to balance yourself. And sometimes when we trying to carry other people with us, because you are, you are alone. You're alone. And you and, and and the thing is it's like you alone and I don't even think you have much. How the fuck do you become a star with nothing? Faith, bitch. I swear to God, when you move on and you let God follow you, I swear God, y'all gonna make me cry. Y'all gonna make me cry, yeah. Y'all gonna make me cry. And I'm not gonna do it. Y'all know what the fuck y'all doing, yeah. Y'all know what y'all doing, man. Just let God keep working, man. Don't question nothing, man. Don't question nothing. I don't give a fuck. Look, you ain't got no job, but are your resources available? Are your lights cut off? Do you got food? Do you got nice clothes? Your car working? You got a new car? Like, hey, bruh. I don't give a fuck if you got a job or not. You lack nothing. Like, you might be more abundant without this fucking job. Like, I swear. Because it's like, what you're doing is helping people on a soul level so much. It's something that money can't buy. Do you understand? It's something that is priceless. It's something that is a timeless gift. What is this? The five of coins in the reverse again. So like I told you, the worst days are over. And if you can see this, this is like some, someone being welcomed into a safe refuge. This is like the five of pentacles going to the six of pentacles. So you know the six of pentacles is when someone is receiving help. You understand what I'm saying? So again, like this is you receiving. I don't even feel like this is basically saying like you helped yourself out of a situation. Like... You found your own cause, your own purpose that ended up turning you into a star. Like, you might just be telling people about the case of the fake people. Like, you look, you got the five of fucking pinnacles in, in reverse twice, man. I don't know how, I mean, I don't know. Like, you got so many eights, you got so many fives, you got so many threes. My nigga, you got the death card in reverse. Like, you might be on that fucking Scorpio fucking um, Libra cuss. Like, y'all, man, what? I feel like y'all just bored because there's no love in your life right now. But the love for yourself is the key. Look, look, the key was right there. The love for yourself was the key. You just walking away and trusting God and... Not looking back, looking towards bullshit. Even if these people try to haunt you, man, pulling out a bundle of say, nigga, fuck you, I'll put your name in the river like fire to a bitch. I don't care about you no more. Go. Like, I go. I know. Like, this is her looking in reflection, knowing what this person does. It's saying I will not allow a power over me no more. I just want you to change clothes and move forward. Don't be wearing no scary ass shit. Don't do that. Because I feel like you're going to call more dark shit to you. Look what she got on. Don't be wearing that shit. Don't be wearing no dark ass shit. Wear black all the time. Dark ass energy. You keep on doing that shit. You're going to keep attracting all that bullshit. Wear nice pretty shit. Sorry. And I'm a tomboy. I'm a tom Look, nigga, what the fuck I got on? But it's pink. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. You know? Last card. You got the king of coins. So, this king of coins, because y'all notice this deck is... I feel like this deck is all about, um... Like, woman empowerment. Because all of the kings are women. <laughs> in this deck. Um, what I feel like this... This depicts to me... A woman that has really come into the abundance of a true king of pentacles. 
No, this is a Knight of Pentacles. Oh, so they said that this is the, the Knight of Pentacles going into the Queen of Pentacles. And she's pregnant. Ooh. So, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is something that might have, it was a long time coming. Remember I told you, like, this could have took a long time. This could have took a while, y'all. But once you once you started walking, and then once you show God up here that you were willing to walk away just on your feet, then God gave you. Once you show God that you were willing to walk away with just your feet, with no transportation, God gave you a boat for you to start fishing. Once he gave you a boat to start fishing, look, where, where the fucking car go? You know what I'm saying? Then you started looking up and realizing that the worst was behind you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really did. You really did. And then once you realize that the worst was behind you and that you're no longer in a state of black, then you stop putting yourself around people that were in a state of black, too. Because sometimes... Have y'all ever noticed that y'all attract people that don't have shit that you have to help all the fucking time? Like sometimes, I don't know about you, but I do. I be so tired of that shit. And like, that's one thing that I've been trying to walk away from. Cutting whatever cord that is where I feel like um, I'm attracting people that are needing to be fixed. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit. Okay, so I, I got it. I'm, okay, so this is the last card. So basically what I'm saying, like, this could have been a situation where you might have had to experience a long time of having to learn something. Like, you could have been going to school for a very, very, very long time, and you might have just finished school, and like, as soon as you finish school, like, boom, everything just happened, kind of like, immediately, like, as soon as you finished your education, you could have, like, flowed right into a, a well-paying job or something where you're very successful, and you could have felt financially secure enough where you were prepared to have kids, and you might have met someone at that new job, and they're just as good as you. And just like life is like it might have took a minute for it to come. But once it started coming, it just started flowing. And once it started flowing, it started permanently flowing in that direction. It's like it's not going back to this. You know what I'm saying? It's not going back to that, you know. So to me, in regards to this Knight of Pentacles, I'm taking that Knight of Pentacles as time. Something that progressed over time. Something that developed over time. Something that allowed... Look, take one day at a time. You guys might have a successful business now that you're about to pass down to your kids. Like, you're a queen. You're successful. Like, you finally got the house with the picket fence. The car. The cars. Shit, you might even have a home with a lake behind it. It's like you might live by the beach. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're no longer haunted by your past. You're so glad that you walked away and you didn't look back. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you exposed the lies for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, 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 I'm led by the moon. I would never tell a lie. You might be a teacher, a spiritual teacher of, like, Teaching women about intuition, not listening to the lies. Don't fall into the illusions of the moon. Ever. It's about cycles. It's about growth. It's about knowing who you are. The star. Your star. Your star. Your star. And your star. Take it one day at a time, young. One fucking day at a time this is the best fucking reading i want to say i've done all year i've never seen so many repeated numbers i always love doing libra's reading because y'all always be y'all the only ones be having me cut some motherfuckers out <laughs> ah, y'all be having me
be cussing people out. I don't know if everybody, but I think y'all Taurus and goddamn Gemini, yeah. Oh my God, y'all. Y'all be fun to the T. I love y'all, young. I fucking love y'all. And I know this video is long as fuck, but it's your birthday, bitch. And like I said, it's my party. I smack a bitch if I want to, okay? I will smack a I will, I will smack a bitch if I want to, bitch. Okay? the fuck i would do what the fuck i want to on my page listen and all my ogs know me tell them ogs we will motherfucker have a long ass video we want to on this page never okay anyway i know y'all and this video resonated y'all hit that like button y'all y'all are fucking amazing young i love you thank you for loving me man i thank god every day for me being blessed to do what i do because it's me being able to do this every day that make me feel like i'm a star you know what i'm saying because what better in this world could you be doing but then the telling people that they the fucking shit and that the best is yet to come. And serious about it. So serious about it. So I just had someone that, um, and I'm sorry I'm rambling now, that I, I started counseling last year. She was living in a hotel, and I was telling her everything going to be okay, yeah. I don't even remember what the fuck I told her in my reading, because every time I do readings with y'all, as soon as I wrap this up and I cleanse my table, the spiritual HIPAA law does not allow me to remember what I said. She called me the other day. I was on a date. She called me crying. She's moved into her new house. Baby, when you move on, and God... See, look, you ain't even have a vehicle. You moved on foot in faith. Once God see that, he will give you every resource that you need. Then your intuition will tell you to get up at the ass crack of dawn in the morning. The early worm always. What is it? The early bird always gets the worm or something. You got your vehicle. Look at where your vehicle is riding to. The moon right into fame. Y'all about to be famous. I don't know who this message is for. But one of y'all motherfuckers is about to be famous. And when you do. Y'all just make sure. I, can I get a ticket? I just listen. I just want to come. Can I, can I come? Can I come? Hey, what you got here to Jay? What you shit? Nigga, can we smoke some motherfucker? OG, some kush, nigga. All right, bye, nigga.